Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is found in the book of Mark, chapter 2, starting at verse 23, all the way into chapter 3, verse 6. Now, in the previous passage, Jesus faced opposition from the religious leaders for spending time with people who did not meet the expectations of their law and for not observing the special days in the law. Now, Jesus spoke in parables to show that he had come not to continue the law, but to begin something new. In today's passage, the religious leaders express their concerns over the way Jesus and his disciples treat the special Sabbath day. Jesus demonstrated that he is Lord of the Sabbath and that his purposes are better than their rules. Now, before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this time we have to dig into your word together. I pray, Lord, that you would speak to us and help us learn something new about you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, so read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 2, verse 23. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and his disciples walked along. They began to pick some heads of grain. The Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? And he answered, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? In the days of Abiathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for priests to eat. And he also gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Another time, Jesus went into the synagogue, and a man with a shriveled hand was there. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, Stand up in front of everyone. Then Jesus asked them, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they remained silent. He looked around at them in anger and deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. And he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Then the Pharisees went out and began to plot with the Herodians how they might kill Jesus. Wow. What is God teaching you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again. And then write down what God is teaching you in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else. <laughs> 